Welcome to my little urban homestead. Um, <laughs> up here in my sewing area, but um, I've just had a shower. I'm drying off at the moment because I got rather dirty. Uh, the tops died back on all those Madeline, Madeline potatoes that you saw me chit in earlier and then I planted. And um, so I thought I'd dig them up and see how they're going. I went out there and I was going to put the camera position it around. And I couldn't because the corn is that high. It One end is completely blocked. The other end is awkward because... There's the path that Mason goes up and down and he'll knock the tripod over. And then my summer has blocks of view. So there's no way that I could actually put the camera. So I decided to dig them up and do an intro afterwards. And that's what I'm doing here. So I'll show you now the footage I've got of the Madeline potatoes. That is the same size truck thing that I used the other year for my photograph that's um, on the front of Little Urban Homestead. I think there's a few more there, but then again I did plant a few more. It's a larger area. It's about two and a half, three foot by about five foot. But that's the potatoes I had out of it. And those Madeline potatoes were shut bought ones that I they were starting to grow eyes on them and so we wouldn't eat them but I thought ah I'll plant them. Well <laughs> they've done quite well. So I pulled them all today because all their tops are dying anyway. Well they're great all them and Basically, it was a £2 bag that I bought from the supermarket, used about half of them. The others um, were making eyes and starting shoots. So I grew them. And look at the amount I've got back. It's a bit more than £2. <laughs> so, I haven't had a good look at them yet, if there's uh, slug damage or anything to them. I'm just laying them dry a bit. So, if there's next to no slug damage, then I might actually grow these next year. I'll definitely try and grow some supermarket ones anyway. <laughs> They're a lot cheaper than buying the seed potatoes. Hmm, or I'll save some of these and use them as seed potatoes for next year. So, Thank you very much. Bye. It's a perfect